I may have just lost my tickets to the LSU Alabama game, which I was planning on going at least before I take this first phone call. <laughs> Kathy in New Iberia, am I watching the game in my house or am I still in the stadium? Ooh. That will still yet to be decided. <laughs> so we shall see. Well, this is it. I'm not talking about this <laughs> after the day. That's all I'm going to let you know. Okay. I am not one of those people that wants – I do not want Nick Saban back in any way, shape, or form. I didn't like him as a coach. I think he takes the game way too damn seriously. It is a game. Number two, I've been sitting in Tiger Stadium when we would, we would have begged for three wins. So I've been there for a long time. I know you have. Know I'm you not have. all about Alabama. But let me interject this. Over the last few years, it's getting blatantly obvious that it's – Somebody likes Alabama, and there's somebody in the higher up. You think it's but God? Overall, Hold up. Do you think it's God? Oh, <laughs> I don't take it that seriously. I knew, I knew you would appreciate that no. question. No, no. But why is it that we have to have the baseball SEC tournament in Alabama? I would think I do believe that Alex Box is one of the better – uh, you know, baseball fields. Well, it's, top, it's one of the tops, if not the top. It's no who would argue with that. Exactly. But let me ask you a question. Like that's that a that that's no a, that's an SEC decision. Tip. Let me ask you a question. Is that a, that's and, and you correct. Meant, I've got problems with the SEC and anybody that pays even a little bit of attention to SEC the last few years have problems. It needs to be out of Alabama. It's getting stupid. What? But it's not just the LSU Alabama football game. It's the other games. You can see it. Why was that guy allowed in the Missouri game to beat on that player on the ground? Not one swing, not two swings, but three swings. Okay, they got their 15-yarder, but that dude should have been thrown out. There's no I don't know. I, I, didn't, I didn't see that play. I don't watch, I I don't watch him every it's time they play. all over the Internet. Well, they okay? may have. I, I can't argue with that. But let like me ask I, this question. Well, it, they have the SEC what? championship football game in Atlanta, Georgia, every year. In Atlanta. And last year, Georgia played in it. That's a home game. I mean, I'm just saying, do do, do they need to move everything around? Well, no, but let me say you. Uh, No, no, one other question. No, one other question. One other question. Alabama, they played an SEC uh, baseball game. In the last 20 years, how many times has LSU won the SEC championship versus, say, in Alabama? Oh, a whole lot more. <laughs> uh, I would see my point being is I, I don't know up. I don't know if I don't know if your argument's going to stand up in a court of law no, because just, you told me no, LSU won more championships. Okay, because the Atlanta football game that's an indoor arena. I don't think you've got an SEC team with an indoor arena. At least you know if you want to. Well, not in New Orleans isn't really home to an SEC team, but baseball there's a lot of SEC schools. Okay, let me throw another one at you. Let me throw hold it, Brandon. What? LSU okay. has won two national championships in 03 and 7. Both yes, of them sir, both, both of them won that uh, Superdome. You think that gave them that an advantage? Was... I'm asking, Kathy. I'm just asking the question. Did that well, give them an advantage? That, out. that was picked long before those games were decided. <laughs> no, but should they, was... if, a, if a state school gets in there, should they say, okay, we got to change it to another venue? I'm no, just saying, Kathy. I think I think if you I think if you that step back, I think if you step back, you'll see there's advantages for people and not advantages depending on what's happened. I, I'm not under that that same thing, but I really believe what I said. I'm gonna leave it with this. You get the last word. If Alabama, <laughs> LSU would step up and kick Alabama in the teeth in two weeks, all this goes away. Because before they rallied no, off six or seven I'll wins in a row, right listen now. to me, before That's they won so seven, right. before they won seven in a row, whatever the number is, Les, My- yeah. Les Miles was three and two against, quote, the great Nick Saban. He was beating him. He was beating him more than that. Then they played the, the two times in the one year, which a lot of fans didn't think that should have happened, but they were right or wrong, and Alabama beat them in the championship, and they hadn't won since. That was so wrong. I'd say if Alabama gets beat, Everybody talks about LSU played all these good teams. Alabama's played nobody. That means LSU ought to step up and beat them like I predicted, 48-12, to 12, because they hadn't played anybody. Now that's, I'm just leaving no, you the I last totally word. I agree with you. No, I totally agree with you. I think LSU's got a very good chance of winning this game with or without White. I understand that. But it is just what is seen out there, and I think it's getting worse. I honestly think there is something going on. I can't pinpoint it, but it's just getting too obvious as the years go on. 
I have to say this. So on. Yes, I have to say this. I have to say this before you go, Miss Kathy. Oh, Good Here job go. at bringing up. Are you a right on for bringing up the whole Raekwon Davis punching the Missouri player? I'm going to show you in the commercial break, Moon. He threw about three or four punches on that player. Now, if that's not intent and shouldn't be kicked out of a football game over a hit. But they didn't kick him out. Over I don't know target, why they didn't kick him out. Over a targeting hit. Where the guy let up at the end, I don't know what it is. Yeah, I have to look at it, Kathy, exactly. and give you my professional there's, view. There's too, many, <laughs> there's too many examples out there now. And it's not just against LSU. And, if Brandon, if you watch other games, it's not just against LSU. There's other teams standing up and going, what is going on? Kevin Foote tried, Kevin Foote tried to tell him earlier about all that. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Foote was nutting up on him. I was laughing at him. So I, I, let me ask you a question. Do we do we make do we make Alabama do we make Alabama play in the NFL then? I'm just asking. No, exactly. <laughs> it's still kids. It's still kids playing football. And yes, LSU's gonna whip their you know what? Well if they hey, if they beat them, all this stuff goes away. That's all I'm saying. No, it doesn't. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. It doesn't. There's something going I'm telling on you, here. there's something just, about there's it's something so, it's so different than Trump. It's no different than Trump and the Republicans. We just have to we've gotta beat them worse than the way they can cheat. And that's exactly what LSU is going to do. Moon, you better find some uh, agreement with her if you want them tickets before okay, you go. I will not agree with Kathy. I ain't worried about it. I said some measure of agreement. I, I, I agree. We both, like to yes. eat it. we both like to eat it shucks, and we like the fried oysters. <laughs> Bye, Kathy. Yes. Thank you, darling. All right, Bye, quick darling. break. Your, your calls are welcome, folks, to jump in here. 844-766-6607. Hickson has a hotline. LSU against the cheaters this week. We'll be right back. <laughs> 